Hey guys, I take every week back here with another um, iPhone 5 vs 4s uh, comparison here. This one is going to be uh, the hardware uh, of the 5 versus the 4s because I'm going to be um, running a Geekbench test here. I got the application uh, right here, Geekbench on the 4s and Geekbench on the 5 here, and we're going to go ahead and run the benchmarks on both of them here. Um, before we get into that, you can see right there it says Model 4s, uh, and then we got iOS 6 running both of them. Uh, the processor on the 4S here is the Apple A5 at uh, 800 megahertz. Then we got the processor on the iPhone 5 here, and it's the uh, the ARM D7 at 1.03 gigahertz. And the memory on this, the memory on the 5 is uh, 116 uh, megabytes, and on the 4S it is uh, 505 megabytes. So we're going to run these benchmarks and compare them both. Right, this will take a little bit here. Um, obviously, the 5 is going to score higher. Right now, uh, the 5 is the uh, the fastest smartphone on the uh, the market right now. Uh, even against the Galaxy S3, when you test the Galaxy S3, um, I believe it's the U.S. version. Um, it the uh, the five scores higher than the U.S. version Galaxy S3, uh, making it the fastest uh, smartphone on the market right, as of right now. Uh, so there we go. The 4S um, just finished at 628, and the five scored at uh, 1,647. So that's a huge difference there. Now that we compare the uh, S3 to this, um, a lot of people wonder, uh, like because the iPhone 5, I believe, uh, has been said to have only um, a dual core processor and like the S3 has a quad core and people are wondering how can the iPhone 5 be so fast uh, because it has less cores and really the cores uh, they don't have that much uh, it's a small factor that adds up to the um, the overall speed of a processor it's just one uh, little factor it's kind of like someone saying uh, this camera how can this camera be better than the other ones because this one camera has more megapixels that's just one small factor the overall quality of what um, of what the processor is but here you guys have um, the Geekbench results right here. They give you uh, plenty of different information here, uh, system information, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff here. Uh, I'm not going to go through all this because it's just so much of boring information. Um, it's probably pointless to most of you guys, but basically you can see the comparison here. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and like it down below. That helps me out. Um, and if you want to share the video, go ahead and hit that share button as well down below. Um, and if you want to subscribe at the top, that will notify when I release my new videos. Um, this is one of the last iPhone 5 videos I have. Uh, but I have plenty of them that I already uploaded, um, and I have a playlist uh, with all of them in it. So you guys want to check out my other iPhone 5 videos, go ahead and click that annotation right there, and that will direct you to the playlist, and you can check them all out. Um, and yeah, subscribing up top, it will be notified when I release my um, my other videos. If you guys didn't see my other video, um, the iPhone 5 has already been jailbroken, actually. Uh, so I'll definitely have um, progress updates to that, like all the progress going on with that jailbreak. So if you're interested in that, subscribing up top will definitely be um, a help to you because I'll notify you when I release those. Uh, Let's update videos to the jailbreak progress. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next video.